like why you had to take my brother's way Bought me and my mattress, but I had to cap another shake I just cap another shake, I just cap another shake All these bitches on me now so looking at the Clippers currently, let's just say things aren't working out at all. I mean, they just came off a nine game losing streak and also a lot of their starters are injured. You got Patrick Beverly who's going to be out with a season injury and looking at this roster alone, I mean, it's definitely not good enough to compete for a title and it's barely good enough to make the playoffs. Sorry to all my Clippers fans out there, but it's honestly time to just blow things up and start the rebuild process sooner than later and with that said more news is coming out about the Clippers wanting to trade DeAndre Jordan so today I'm going to be talking about the top three trade destinations for DeAndre Jordan now in these trade scenarios I'm going to be talking about the trades that will make the most sense for the Clippers where they are able to get some good young prospects or some good draft picks to start the rebuilding phase but with that said let's get right into it now coming at number one is the Clippers Cleveland Cavaliers. Now this trade would make perfect sense for the Clippers and DeAndre Jordan. For one, DeAndre Jordan can be part of a team that's good enough to compete for a title and make big contributions. Also, the Clippers would probably get Tristan Thompson, Iman Shumper, and well, the main factor in this trade is the first round pick that could potentially be worth a lot depending on how the season go. Also, Tristan Thompson is cheaper and is only locked up till 2020. He could also be be good alongside Blake Griffin and you also have Iman Shumpert who could run the point but the main factor in this trade deal is that first round pick and it makes perfect sense for both teams and can we just imagine how great of a duo LeBron and Jordan will be now coming at number two is the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, the reason why this would make perfect sense for the Clippers is because the Bucks have a lot of great young talent that they could trade for. If this trade were to happen, they probably get Mirza Toledovic, John Henson, and Malcolm Brodin, who is a great young prospect. But with that said, the Bucks would also have a very deadly lineup with Eric Bledsoe at the point, Chris Middleton at the two, Giannis at the three, Thon Maker at the four, and DeAndre Jordan at the five. To me, that that is a very deadly lineup in the East that could cause a lot of problems. To me, it's a win-win. The Clippers get great young pieces and the Bucks get a great rim protector and a great rebounder to add to their team. But last but not least, coming at number three is the Dallas Mavericks. Now, this trade scenario makes sense for the Clippers because the Mavs have some pretty good pieces to work with. Now, if this trade were to go down, the Clippers would probably get Norland's Noel, Yogi Ferrell, and Wesley Matthews, who is coming off a contract. So if things doesn't work out, you don't really have to worry. But this trade also gives the Clippers more depth in the backcourt, and the Mavs can start rebuilding around Dennis Smith Jr. by acquiring DeAndre Jordan and yeah he may be 29 but you know he still has a lot left in the tank also the Mavs will finally have a starting center instead of having to start Dirk Nowinski at center because I mean the guy is pretty old this would be a great trade but that's if the Clippers and the Mavs can put away their differences from what happened a few years ago regarding DeAndre Jordan but with that said, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear you guys out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to please leave a like and subscribe and share. And don't forget, I will be doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. But with that said, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you all later.